We got a phone call that there's a malnourished sea lion on its last leg, its last breath. We have a, a large number of animals that are dying. We are in a state of crisis. They're on death's door. The Pacific Marine Mammal Center rescues, rehabilitates, and releases stranded marine mammals in Orange County. Uh, we are the only licensed center uh, in all of Orange County to respond and assist marine mammals. For the last couple of years, we have been in this state of crisis. There are thousands of sea lions beaching themselves. They've left mom uh, early on the islands, and they're showing up here on the mainland of California, starving to death. He's 32 pounds. I mean, he should be, well, about 60 pounds or so. We're seeing a lot of emaciated pups like this. But I was calling to see if there's any other rescues need it. Is he a sea lion? It's constant calls of malnourished sea lions popping up everywhere. We're working around the clock to try to get these animals well to release them back just so we could take in more. You look this direction and I'm gonna go this direction. 10 years ago, along the entire coastline of California in the first five months, uh, the average stranding rate was about 200 to 300 animals. This year, in that same five month period, we've had over 3,300 animals strand. Oh, yeah. oh, can you grab that towel? Yeah. It takes a lot to nurse these animals back to health. They need the fluids because they're so dehydrated. There's the dextrose. One of the reasons that we continue to work with the sea lions and rehab them is because they are a canary in the coal mine. They do tell us what is going on in the marine environment and how it might affect human beings in the future. Right out there, there's California sea lions sitting on a rock and they just swim across there where humans are also using the same waterways. So we are sharing the same environments um, all the time. What's affecting the sea lions is going to affect the humans because we are so close. We are constantly analyzing why these animals are stranding, doing pathological reports, and looking into what is affecting them. These are little white things here, a parasite. Now we're going to leave that there and let it go so we can find out which particular species these are. I think that everything in the ocean is tied together, so there is, you know, something for us to be watching and to be concerned about. Is it fishing? Is it weather? Is it global warming? There's a lot of effects that we're having as humans on the environment. We need to be aware of what's happening with these animals and how that relates to us and, and our future. The Pacific Marine Mammal Center does an amazing amount of education. We're teaching people not only about the issues, but what they can do to solve the problem and therefore live sustainably on the planet that really starts causing them to be inspired. All right. Let me we only know. get one planet. We get one chance at this. And if we don't reverse the cycle now, it could be the point of no return. The goal of Pacific Marine Mammal Center is to release all animals, to give them a second chance at life. It's a really unexplainable feeling watching an animal that maybe we didn't think could have made it. Hey, you ready girls? One, two, three. Watching them go home, go back to the ocean. This animal's actually got a chance out there now and it was all because of the people that donated their time, money's effort. <laughs> ah! What did you see? Did you see the sea lion? Because of this crisis right now, it, funding and donations for Pacific Marine Mammal Center is really important. Each animal costs between $2,500 and $3,000 to get it through rehab and all the way to release when it runs back into the ocean. Donations mean the difference between life and death. If you want to help the animals, go onto our website, press the donate button, and that money will go directly to the animals and care for them. They went home, back to the wild, right? Yeah. That's their home. That's their home, you're right. That's their, that's that's their, like their house. That's where they belong, right? Yep. Yeah.